like the, the the concept behind a nuclear first strike, I think at this point is 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 less concerning to me than a cyber first strike, uh, where we are going to start seeing a lot of very sophisticated attacks and very specific uh, sophisticated malware is is probably around the cyber warfare front because that is that is definitely the next phase in in cybersecurity. It's the um, it's stuff that's that's until relatively recently been fairly theoretical. But, you know, even even when we're dealing with hell, not Petya was an example of of some very sophisticated, yeah. directed cyber warfare. It's one of the one of the first instances of cyber attack um, going back to the Iranian uh, centrifuges. Stuxnet, Stuxnet, yeah. Stuxnet, Stuxnet the Stuxnet yeah. virus. Yeah. That is cyber warfare. It's only been around for about 10 years. And. The one thing that is going to be really interesting in the coming years, and by interesting, I mean absolutely horrifying, is that is likely where things like like the, the, the concept behind a nuclear first strike, I think at this point, is, is, is less concerning to me than a cyber first strike. Nuclear first strike warrants nuclear response. We've been dealing with something like that for 40, 50, 60, 70 yeah, years now. Right. Duck and uh, cover, all that. Duck, yeah. yeah, we, yeah. we have a lot of that down. There's very few contingencies around, you know, what happens if uh, our um, internet were to shut down or if our grid were to go down. 